Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be doing a POV on the city streets of London. I cannot wait for this one. It'll be my very first POV in London ever. So without wasting any more time, let's just get on. And of course, at the end of today's video, we're going to be having a look for the hashtag at CP Photos. This is going to be epic. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so we're starting today's POV in this kind of business district area right here. Um, nearby, there is the Gherking. There is, look at all this architecture. This is what we have got to work with right now. And this is only the start of today's POV. I even maybe just do this. Even just that, look up, move the focusing point, focus on one of the buildings right there, F2.8. Oh, such a stark contrast to any other city I've been to, honestly. Uh, there, well, there we go, look at this architecture right here. So get that building, I think it's called the Gherking. I'm pretty sure it is. Nice wide shot right there, but then what I'll do is I'll zoom in so it's just a little bit more of a focal point. That, that's the main thing. And I like that we've even got the sign in there. That was actually accidental. It's quite quiet as well. Surprising. Oh, we've got this cool shot here. Like frame map. Could get a wide quickly with a the Merc there. And this is just a super relaxed and chilled POV because my back, oh, I shouldn't even say my back, my shoulders are in agony. Like carrying this heavy camera bag for two days solid feels like military training okay so we'll get this nice wide shot looking all the way up that's good but i reckon we might be able to do something better here um we'll have a look we'll try it here as well we'll try to get other architecture in it other buildings all around it all right shoot it like that and that is the result we got from that shot wow wow play a little bit here right just use the um Gherking has a little bit of a foreground not really but you know grab that shot right there oof that is good that is so good whoa this is what this sony was made for this 61 megapixel beast is just doing wonders around here i'm gonna get neck cramp more than anything from the amount of times i have to look up i got a really cool idea right here using these leading lines maybe leading up to that right so i'm gonna go really low down like here i'm shooting at f9 about 125th of a second that's kind of good i like that all right that is ace also i'm getting a really cool reflection right there of uh, a building in the reflection of that building it's like building inception so i'm going to actually get low for this all right bump up the aperture to f 6.3 bring down the shutter speed iso 100 holy mother Whoa, that is sick. I could Photoshop a plane in that if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm feeling the energy because the London's surging it through my blood. Okay, wait, are we ready to look up? Are you ready to get that neck strain? Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe that is currently a file on my memory card right now. Oh, and the transition from like the um, white sky to the building is perfect. It's almost like got a glow to it. Okay, we just got to wait a minute or two because I've got this really cool reflection going on right here, right? And I'm reckon if I can get a bus, which might be a little bit unlikely, or even a taxi or something, we could make something really cool. Well, oh wait, I don't need that shot. This is the one I'm going for. Yes. I got this sweeping kind of building shot oh oh gnarly oh i'm gonna get a bit further down the floor for that hello uh, i'm not bad how about yourself is that your youtube yes chris uh curtis curtis, curtis. curtis. you got it yeah. yeah i saw your um on edinburgh oh really do you enjoy it yeah yeah wicked. Oh, yeah, thank edinburgh. you I'm, I just can't believe how quiet it is around me. I know it's a Sunday in a business district, but that looks so good. I've got two versions there. I'm gonna grab a leading line. Oh, that leading line is pretty good as well. Yes, I'm happy with that. Okay, so there's a really cool reflection here. Might be able to do something with it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa, I can't believe I just captured that. Holy moly, man. 
I bet this at night looks sick. Oh, what? This reflection right here goes about here, and I'll get that shot right there. Oh, that is good. Oh, quickly try and get this. Oh, I just got an absolute winner right there. Oh, that is legit. Yes. Guys, we're about to get another amazing shot of St. Paul's Cathedral. Right, I'm gonna keep the camera real low to the ground using this like silver drainage thing as a leading line. So I'm gonna bring it up to F7.1, bring down the shutter speed. And then we should get to it like that. That is absolute madness. If you ever meet me and want to do photography with me, I will do weird stuff like this. Okay, we're still in hanging around this area because we're going to try and get one more shot and then we'll move on to the next location. Shooting at 1 800th of a second, got my camera strap on, um, F8 ISO 100 and we're getting really good framing right now. Like that is mega framing. What is better than uh, one St. Paul's Cathedral? Two. Okay, so this building has been amazing. I think we got like five, six, probably a lot more great shots in just this one location alone and uh don't know what area we're going to next probably st paul's cathedral area a bit more and then we'll just figure out where to go from there but this was a good start oh this is a cool shot get a bit of a foreground using these trees right here focus on the top of st paul's cathedral and we get a shot just like that and i love the clouds as well the clouds and that was very nice oh that was all right that was all right actually that right there. Is there anything better than London cityscapes? Oh, it looks so good. She's in a little bit of a foreground. One. There you go. Look at this. That's the HMS Belfast Tower Bridge and a shard. What? Oh, look at that. Thinking here, play about with the foreground a little bit, bring down the aperture to f2.8, or oh, get the speedboat in as well, and there you go. It's too busy, but you know what, whilst we're here, it won't be the best shot. Let's get this photo of Tower Bridge, using this leading line right here, like that. Bring down the shuttle speed a bit, ISO 100, f2.8, just like that. What I could try, it might not work, so just bear with me here. Could try using a slower shutter speed, like one fifth of a second. All right, bring down the ISO to literally 50, right, one fifth of a second. Perfect. Frame it between those two buildings right there. Go into the crop mode on the Sony A7R4, and there you go. Oh, I like that. Alex, been great to meet with you. Let's hope to see you again soon, mate. Take care. Bye bye. Some really cool shots at Baker Street. Brilliant. Oh, wow. That is pretty good. Okay, so we're currently uh, going towards Baker Street. Uh, I've been told this is quite a nice area to maybe find cars and everything like that. Okay, so I've uh, switched in a 50mm lens for now. I think this is the lens we're going to work with for a bit right there. Get some like street work like that. Straight away the 50 work, uh, the 80, sorry, I said, did I say the 50 or the 85? I've got the 85 on for now. Could get a cool shot here with the mirror. Frame it up right there, quickly before the bus goes. Oh, that's kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. That looks really cool. <laughs> Got Ferrari right here, just casually, as you do. Oh, focus on the headlight right there. F1.8, bump up the shutter speed. Oof, that is gnarly right there. Yes, like that. You get this really cool shot here looking through. Oh, what a beast. Get a cool shot of this Bentley actually. 
difficult of the frame. Yes, just like that. Right there. We have still got five hours till my train. Five hours and my shoulders are gone, man. Okay, we got a blue Lamborghini, a Maserati, a Bentley. Uh, let's get the blue, um, like that's some nice colour for that Merc, uh, Merc, that Lambo. It's just mental how much money is around here. Excuse me, mate. Wondering, could I take a, a photograph of you? Sure. Uh, could I have you stand in the centre? Would that Is be possible? Is it going public or...? I was just going to put it on like kind of YouTube kind of thing, oh, if right. that's a problem. Um, how you're looking right there is perfect. Oh, that is perfect. You were made to model, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Thank All you right. so much. Have a great day now. <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> he knew exactly what pose to strike. <laughs> he was just like, I've been waiting for this. Hello, uh, weird question. Am I to take a photograph of you doing that? Yeah, of course. Thank you. That would be brilliant. Yeah. Where, where are you going? With the condition that you send it to me. I'll send it straight to you. <laughs> I'll send it straight to you. I had to. I just thought I saw you in the roller bays and everything. I was like, yes. <laughs> that is commitment. What's your name, by the way? Curtis. Anything specific you want me to do? Because we're probably going to come back in the same bit. What yes. I'm thinking is if you like come towards me, I'll just sit Low as you come straight towards me with a flag flying, it'll look okay, amazing. And you want me to skate? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah that'll be. That, we could try one without the skating, then one with the skating. But I think with the skating, with okay. everything with the wind, it'll look cool. amazing. Thanks. Oh, that looks amazing. That was fantastic. Oh, babe, look. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. You're really good. Oh. Thank Took you. you like, one second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, thinking one one behind you. Can you do I one? I was literally going <laughs> to say <laughs> Two great minds think alike. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's really nice. Yeah, love it. There you go, lovely. So what's your Instagram? Um, it's Miss Mina London. So go on, <laughs> right, take care. Thank you very much. Oh my God, look. Oh, they, that was awesome. That, that photo shoot right there. That was ace. That was everything you could hope for. Oh, that was so cool. cool looking dude in a motorbike right there okay a progress update um i've just moved from baker street area i'm now in kensington near chelsea and already you can probably tell we're in chelsea we've got mustangs ferraris i've seen lambos i felt like a common peasant being on a bus but why has this ferrari been abandoned why is the leaves in it i don't think this thing's been driven in a while let's get a close-up of the uh, badge that was kind of cool a photo inside. I like that. Oh, the poor thing. He has got the pop up headlights, which do make it look pretty sick, but clean your goddamn Ferrari, dude. See that right there? Yeah, so that looks really cool right down there. Little Ferrari right here. California, I believe this one is. That's cool. We've got two Ferraris. We've got the California, and I believe that's the FF five seater one. You could put golf clubs in the back of it. Favorite car brand they are. I've never owned one. I don't want to own one. Too much upkeep. It's like trying to keep a girlfriend. It's so expensive. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. They're more expensive. We've got this old Rolls Royce right here. Take a photo 
Of course you can. Gucci. Oh, you are so good. Can, can you sit? Sit. Sit. Oh, I got it. There you go. Oh, wow. Wow. No, no worries, mate. Right. Have a great evening. <laughs> Pucci. <laughs> Love that name. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> So I'm currently around the Piccadilly area. Uh, I've just had some food, but it is absolute carnage around here. It's chaos. It's a madhouse. I mean, look at it. Jesus Christ. So I'm leaving on the 85 mil lens because I'm focusing on street portraiture, but also at the same time, I'm looking at taking photos of buses and everything like that. Shot right there. Cool shot right there. Okay, we're gonna get a wide shot of this Piccadilly sta station right here. <laughs> it's the one area that hasn't been affected by litter and it's actually making for a pretty lit photograph. Oh, that looked like, hopefully that was a really good shot of that Aston. Oh, I think that is gonna be a really good shot of that Aston Martin right there. Okay, quickly, why does no traffic come in? Reflection. Wow. What a reflection right there as well. I have to really bump up the ISO here. This might be a bit too high of ISO. Might be able to do something with that. Oh, wow. All right, so I've seen this really cool wide shot right here as well, just building. Then go down. I've had to use 140 for a second, ISO 400. I'm breathing really steady so I can actually get a really clean shot. So it's not blurry or anything. But five axis living body stabilization should really help there. And I think I've nailed that. Okay, I uh, got that photo right there, but I am starting to panic. Um, my train leaves in an hour. I'm a 48 minute walk away from King's Cross. Piccadilly line is closed, uh, probably because of the football and the chaos that's gonna pursue afterwards. So I've just asked a cabbie. Um, he costs 15 quid just for literally a five minute, 10 minute journey. But unless I could find an open underground to go to King's Cross within the like, next five minutes, I'm gonna have to jump in a cat taxi. Oh, I was going to call this a relaxing POV, but this has been far from it. Kirsch, you need to stop doing photography now. You really need to get to fucking York. But this is just too good of an opportunity to turn down. Right, update. I just had to get a taxi to King's Cross. Um, most of the undergrounds I was going to were closed. Um, so luckily I made it to King's Cross in time. Look at this reflection here of King's Cross. That reflection is mad right there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, my feet are done, guys. My feet are done. My shoulders are bruised. My feet are blistering. I've been in the wars this weekend, but it's been, it's been good. That is the POV company in London. This has been a mad weekend. I hope you have enjoyed today's POV as well. But I have now got to sadly say goodbye to London. But before we end today's video, we are going to be having a look through the hashtag CP photos. Okay, so we're back from London. Let's just jump straight into the hashtag CP photos where there is now 9,500 posts on the hashtag. We are getting so close in touching distance of 10k. We'll start with this one from the top by RB Shoots. I like this black and white photograph, real nice simple frame right there. I also like this one right here. This one's fantastic for this bike at, bike at night. That's really cool. We like what you've done with the colours and the tones on that particular image right there. Let's scroll down a little bit. We'll have a look at a few more today. I like this one here by Renitz. This is really cool. In Austin, Texas. I love that. You've got the subject right there. That is a really key focal point of the image. But then it's all complemented by all the lights and the grading you've done to the image. We'll scroll down a little bit more. Oh, this one right here by Beneath. This is really cool in Cambridge. Really simple frame. I love the grading on it that it's so 
minimalistic with the color that you've chosen to bring out of that image. Oh, we've got this one, New York City by Sean Dancy. This is really cool. I like the sensitive colors that you've chosen just to bring out the yellows of the taxis, a really iconic part of New York City. That is fantastic right there. And this one here. I like this black and white one by Paul Hill Photo. I really like that, just the black and white, the real nice high contrast kind of look you've gone for. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna be leaving today's POV video, guys. And honestly, I can't wait to go down to London again because I haven't even scratched the surface of what is possible in that great city. And when I am next going down to London, hopefully at some point this year, if any of you wanna meet up, let me know, drop me a message over on Instagram and we can go out and explore and create together. Let's make it happen. And yeah, the last thing really to say is thank you for watching. Take care, keep creating, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.